Hello, welcome my dear students for the next video. In this video, we'll be solving another planning question. It's planning and investigating question. October, November 2016, paper six, variant one, electricity. Uh, let's read the question. A student is investigating resistors connected in parallel. Following operators is available to the student. Okay, you have a meter, we will use it. You have voltmeter, we will use it. Power supply, we will also use it. Variable resistor, you may use, but I'll not be using. Switch, I'll use it. Connecting leads are the wires, we will use them. Box of identical resistors, we will use them. So let's read the question. The question is, plan an experiment to investigate how combined resistance of resistors connected in parallel depends upon number of resistors. So first of all, you need to underline the key uh, question. So how combined resistance? This is your dependent variable. Okay, depends upon number of resistors in parallel. This is your independent variable. So this is very important. Before you go ahead, I suggest you to start the question with this and write here clearly your first two tabs, like what is in dependent variable and what is dependent variable. Okay, so always make the tabs whenever you are solving a question. So what you have to do, as in the question they told you, Combined resistance depends upon number of resistors. So as you can see, the combined resistance is independent. Uh, number of number of resistors n in parallel. Dependent variable is combined resistance RT. Always give the symbols. Okay, we read the question and I gave the two tabs. As you can see, I always do that. So now let's read the question. You should draw a diagram of the circuit you could use to determine the resistance of resistor connected in parallel. Show only two resistors in your diagram. So what you have to do, my dear students, you will make two resistors in parallel. So you can make, first of all, a power supply here, a switch I will make here, and here I will make two resistors in parallel. As you know, it's mentioned in the question. I'll make two resistors here like that. So you can connect them like that. It looks good like that. So let's make two resistors. The first resistor parallel and here is the second resistor. And here I'm just connecting them. The students in the exam, whenever you see a junction, you need to put a dot like that. Now what you have to do over here, you need to connect an ammeter to measure the current. Here is a switch which is right now open. Here is the power supply. Here, making a new junction, you can make a voltmeter V. Okay, so label power supply, switch, a meter, voltmeter. So the resistors are already the standard symbol, so we don't need to uh, mention that. So with this, you got the mark for the diagram. We can put a tick. Now explain briefly how would you carry out the investigation. This is called method. You can say either method or procedure. Always make the tabs. All right, so what you have to do, first point, I will set up the circuit as shown in diagram with two identical resistors in parallel. Full stop. Next point, I will turn on the power supply and close the switch. Next point, I will measure the current I using a meter and potential difference across potential difference V across the resistors using voltmeter then you will say I will calculate
the combined resistance RT using RT is equals to V over I. Then you will say, I will repeat. the experiment with five different resistors in parallel, five different combinations of resistors in parallel. We are done with the procedure. After that, you will go and see, explain how would you carry out the investigation we had done. Draw a table or tables with column headings to show how would you display. So column headings are important. So here you will write the tab as table. You can write a sentence if you want. I will write readings and results in a table in a table shown like that and let's make independent variable was number of resistors number of resistors you can say n if you want to give the symbol what did you measure v in volts i in amperes total resistance in ohms you will leave this table as empty so this is how we do it like that you got the, another mark for the table after that what you have to do if they ask you something else no now as i told you always try to give a conclusion in the question so write conclusion since your this one is an independent variable right it doesn't have numbers like it's better to draw a bar graph or you can do the number so you will say i will plot a graph of number of resistors against the combined resistance and see the trend or draw the conclusion. Again, my dear students, this is an ideal question for planning the method, the table, the conclusion, the diagram, independent variable, dependent variable. Everything, what was written, we did it. So as you know, the points, usually they follow the protocols. If you want to add additional points, you can say precautions. So precautions in electricity, one of the best precautions is use low current uh, to prevent wires or resistors getting hot. So if you want, I can just give you the number of marks distribution over here. The completely labeled diagram gives you one mark. Make sure there is a voltmeter and ammeter. Both are there. It will award you one mark. And uh, the correct combination of parallel connected to the power supply will also give you one mark. After that, uh, defining the problem can give you one mark. Then how do you measure uh, the current and potential difference? This will also give you one mark. And then how do you calculate combined resistance? will give you one mark. If you repeat with different number of combinations, we'll also give you one mark. One mark would be the table, and it could be one conclusion. It could be one precautions. So if you make sure you have at least seven marks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have two additional points. So make sure you will get seven out of seven. Always write the relevant information. See you for the next planning question. Bye-bye.